Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Aviary Attorney. Okay, so I have gone up and down the list here of the different areas that we can go to. And to be honest, the only thing that really makes sense to me right now is the Chocolate Emporium. Because here's what I've decided in the past 30 seconds. Um, we don't know of a poison that can instantaneously kill someone. So we don't know if the Rose actually killed Major Howl. So maybe the wrapper that we found had chocolate that was poisoned? I don't know. That's my line of thinking. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Lander Hagelsack's Chocolate Emporium, the finest Belgian chocolate in all of Paris. This is the worst accent yet. Anyways, I am Lander Hagelsack, founder and owner of this establishment. And I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Good day, monsieur. Oh, a lawyer is very fancy. I must say I once dreamed of being a lawyer, but, well, circumstances wouldn't allow it. It's a funny story. You see, when I was a young boy, I befriended the son of a Hungarian attorney. Holy crap, that was weird. Falcon, you have to help me. Oh, what is it? It's the smell, Falcon. It's overpowering me. It's demanding that I lay waste to the shop. Oh, for pity's sake, restrain yourself, Sparrowson. Oh, but I'm rambling, aren't I? So are you messieurs here to buy some chocolate? Yes! No, 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 no. We're actually here on business, monsieur. Business? First things first, we believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your shop. Are we correct? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That is indeed the trademarked Hagelsnack wrapper for genuine Belgian Hagelsnack chocolate. This was most certainly bought here from this very establishment. Very good. With that established, there is something else we wish to ask, Monsieur Hagelsnack. Um... Is there another way we can ask if the chocolate's been poisoned? Besides, has it been poisoned? Ask nicely. We want him on our good side. Is there any chance your produce could have been contaminated? Absolutely not, Monsieur. I stand by my claim that my chocolate is the finest in all of Paris. I go to great length to ensure that the highest quality is ensured. Any contaminations would be terrible for business, you understand. I see. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieurs? Uh, maybe off happenstance, you know who bought this piece of chocolate? Can you tell us who bought this chocolate that was contained in this wrapper, Monsieur Hagelslack? I'm afraid not, Monsieurs. Not just because of matters of confidentiality, although that is a factor, you understand, but because I couldn't possibly know that. I thought elephants never forget. My memory is impeccable, Monsieur, but you must understand that I have dozens of customers a day. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. Hmm. So your memory is good, but you need further information. If we were to give you the description and the name of a person, would you be able to tell us if they have purchased something from you? Oh yes, yes, yes. That I could probably do, Monsieur. Let me think who to ask about. Uh, well, we know it's not the lion because he's behind bars. We know it's not the toad or the frog because he's dead. Wouldn't surprise me if it was Caterline. Uh, I don't know who to ask about. I don't think it's her. I guess we'll just do Juan Quierdo. Have you ever served Juan Quierdo, the Prince of Spain? A prince of Spain? No, Monsieur. Well, that's good to hear. Our clue would have turned into a dead end if our own client turned out to be the chocolate fiend. I did once serve a princess from Mali, if that is any help. You see, I met the girl while hiking through the Himalayas. You've been a lot of places, dude. Please stop. Please stop. Let me think who to ask about. Sorry, I'm getting a little congested. Uh, maybe he bought it and didn't know it was poisoned? Have you ever served a member of the royal guard by the name of Major Howell? No, Monsieur. Are you sure? Yes, Monsieur. I have served many soldiers, but I don't recall seeing a Major in here recently. What does that mean, Falcon? Have we lost our lead? 
Not necessarily. It just means that Major Howell didn't buy the chocolate that may have killed him. There's still a possibility that someone bought the chocolate for him. That's our lead. That's who we want to find. I see. I did once serve a high-ranking officer. Okay, we get it. No, I don't want to hear that story. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that story. Let me think who to ask about. Uh, those are the only two that I had in mind. I really- I don't know. Maybe Mousy? That would be a twist? Sure, sure, Mouse- Mousy. That'd be a really big twist, right? Have you ever served a tiny mouse named Mousy? No, Monsieur. My terrify me. Messieurs, I am growing tired of all these endless inquiries. Maybe you should come back another day. You know what, Falcon? It's possible that we haven't encountered the chocolate fiend yet. Rather than coming back here every day and making aimless guesses, we should wait until we have someone specific in mind. You might have a point, Sparrowson. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Hagelslack. We shall return when our investigation has progressed a little. Any time, Messieurs. I want to apologize for that accent. I was trying to do that guy from Frozen who's like, Hoo hoo, big summer blowout, yeah? Uh, and I just completely lost it and it turned into something that I don't even know how to describe. So, hopefully I won't have to do that accent, um, much more often. Much more- you know what I mean. Uh, so where shall we go next? Cause to be honest, the Chocolate Emporium is the only place I really had in mind that I really wanted to go to. Uh, maybe Le Carnet Joyer? Because it's a bar and people gossip at bars. Maybe someone there knows something. I'm I'm gonna go with that line of thought. Let's go to Lake Carnage Joyer. Really, Falcon? I thought you were done with your mopey drinking. I'm not here to drink, Sparrison, or mope for that matter. Taverns are fantastic hubs for information. If we wish to learn more about Prince Juan, this would be the ideal place to start asking questions. Wow, oh, that's some pretty good thinking. Thank you. Ah, you two are back. Are you feeling any better, Falcon? Much better. Thank you for asking, Madame Quinnell. That's great to hear, hon. Will it be the usual? No, no, no. I'm here to investigate, so I have to keep sharp. We wanted to know if you've seen a Prince of Spain around here recently. Prince of Spain? I don't know if you've noticed, hon, but this isn't exactly the classiest pub in Paris. I'm lucky to serve the occasional bourgeois. You can forget about seeing a member of royalty. That's a pity. Maybe I should ask some of your patrons. Feel free. The old regulars, Rufus and Powell, they're playing cards up in the attic. Same as always. But we get all sorts of colorful, colorful characters in the drinking room. I bet if you rattled enough cages, you would find someone who knows whatever it is you want to know. Thank you, madame. Let's see where to start. Uh, let's go to the card room, because the last time we were here, we didn't even stop in there. Come on, bow, just one more game of Jacques Noir. That's blackjack. That's French for blackjack. <laughs> okay, anyways. Absolutely not, my wallet is hurting enough as it is. Please, I'll even let you deal this time. My answer is no, Rufus, I'm skint. If you want to play cards, you'll have to ask someone else. Fine, I'll ask that big fellow. Excuse me, Monsieur. Yes, you, Monsieur. Would you like to play some Jack Noir, Blackjack? Uh, if it'll, it'll get information out of you, sure. Absolutely. Deal me in, Monsieur. Very well, then. Do you know how to play? Uh, refresh my memory. I've played it before, but I can't remember which one it is. No, I'm only familiar with Sago and Tapteric. Oh, this is much better than those silly games. Let me tell you how it works. I have a deck of cards with values between 1 and 11. I'll deal you one card at a time. If you hit 21, you win, and I give you 5 francs. Five francs, that seems a little steep. This is a man's game, Monsieur. Only children gamble over petty sous. Besides, higher stakes mean a more exciting game, right? I suppose so. 
I've actually played this game. We just don't call it Blackjack in my family. We just call it 21. My mom's side of the family is huge on card games, so hopefully I'll do pretty well. I have plenty of practice. Oh, unless that happens. Crap. Uh, I'm like doing the odds in my head. I mean, it kind of breaks even. I mean, actually, no, there's a better chance that he'll get a higher number. Yeah, we'll stand. Come on, baby. Yeah! There we go. Well played, Monsieur. Here's your payout. Shall we have another round? Uh, let me say no and see what happens. Like, if we don't get any information, then I'll play again, but... No, I think we're done here, but have a good day, monsieur. I understand. Feel free to come back anytime. Uh, but the drinking room... No, no. We'll play one more time. It's like chips, you can't just have one chip. Oh, the big- oh, sorry about that. The big fellow has returned. Here to play some cards? Yes. Absolutely. Deal me in, Monsieur. Very well then, do you know how to play? It's not like I told you five seconds ago. Um, yeah, 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 we know, we know. Of course, I've been playing for years. Yeah, right. Don't get cocky, Falcon. Very good, I shall be the dealer and we'll bet five francs for a game. Here we go. Okay. Maybe I'm just feeling overconfident since I won on the last one. Oh, oh no! Dang it! Oh well, it, it breaks out even. Unlucky monster, most unfortunate. Shall we have another round? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna cover my eyes and we'll let fate decide here. Maybe I shouldn't cover my eyes because nothing's happening. Oh no! Oh, I swear that was random, guys. I didn't pick to do it again. Please don't mistake that for a gambling problem. Uh, okay. I mean, that was our lucky number last time. Let's stick with it. Come at me, big guy. Give me, hit me with your best shot. Oh crap, I was just kidding. Oh man, now I'm losing money. Okay, now we have to stop because this is how it starts. Because then you try to earn it back and you lose more money. It's a, it's a vicious cycle. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next episode, we will go to the drinking room and get some information, hopefully. So, I want to thank all of you for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!